plenty, uh, plenty more uh, show if you guys want to send in your questions. We'll get to as many as uh, we can. Right now, the Thunder lane eight on a back to back at the Spurs. Spurs plus two fifty six uh, total sitting at two forty two. I mean, the Spurs are just a, a team I'm not going to be betting on or against. I think in a lot of spots because, man, I just they're just such a hard team to figure out side and even total wise. Cause there's some games where you don't see much from Wemby or, you know, they, they have been restricting his minutes. Now they seem like they're not going to, I mean, the perfect example is Embiid puts up 70 and the, the Sixers still don't cover. So, uh, and I would love to see what that same game parlay would have been spurs in the points and, uh, Embiid 70 plus, uh, but yeah, like I just can't touch this Spurs team one way or the other, at least with the side. Um, Noobs, how say you on this Spurs Thunder matchup? Yeah, I'm going to go with another team total under here. I think this is going to be a tough night offensively for the Spurs. Yes, it's the second night of back to back for the Thunder, but expect them to play better after that close game against Portland. Defensively, they're a very good team, and they generally just beat up on bad teams like this. And uh, you go back and look at that game last night again. Portland, just a really great performance at the free throw line, made a lot of three pointers tonight. And maybe San Antonio is able to do that again tonight, but. This team totals 117 and a half. I couldn't get this to, to as high as 114, let alone 117. So uh, just a lot of value for me. Uh, the Spurs have gone over this number a couple times. Like you said, John, uh, a performance against the Philadelphia 76ers that I think will be hard to recreate, especially with the way Philadelphia was kind of pushing and creating more possessions to help and beat get to 70. I know everyone is ragging uh, the Minnesota Timberwolves for going out of the way to get Carl Anthony Towns shots. If the Sixers had lost that game, I assure you, there would have been just as much crap talked about them. But uh, you go back and look at that. They scored 131 against the Wizards. So what? Everyone scores 131 against the Wizards. 120 against the Hornets. Everyone scores 120 against the Hornets. But you go back and look at games against, you know, serious teams, teams that are just in playing defense. They rarely get close to this. Uh, again, expect a better performance in the Thunder tonight defensively. Uh, everything adds up. And uh, this is an even better bet if Trey Jones can't play tonight. He's questionable. He is the only point guard in the Spurs team. They've been much better when he plays. But even with him in again, I only have this at 114 and a half. If he's out. Uh, I'm going to go find some alt unders, maybe play like an under 110 and a half, something like that. Yeah, no, it's. Oh, and I have a Dort bet. I forgot about yeah. that. Sorry. Lou yeah. Dort. Lou Dort's going to make two threes, bet him over one and a half threes. It's, I think, minus 110, minus 115. Honestly, anything minus 135 or better looks like a good bet to me. Been shooting the ball a lot more. Is a very underrated three point shooter, 40%. I think he'll get his chances tonight against the Spurs. So, yeah, Spurs team total under 117 and a half, and then Dort over one and a half made threes. Yeah, uh, I mean the the fading the Spurs offense, especially after that Sixers game. I I do uh, that angle does make sense. I just, man, I don't know. I feel like anytime I I have a thought on what's going to happen in the Spurs game, I'm off. So I'm a little gun shy there, but uh, laid out a great case. So officially, uh, Noops is on the Spurs team total under 117. Dort over one and a half made threes.